Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today, we found the best moments when women treat men like kings. Number 13. Now, let's jump right in. Right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Excuse me, can I pay for my dinner, please? No, no, everything is paid. <laughs> this is the second time in Alpha No, but more seriously, who paid for my food? Uh, who paid? Mama? A woman paid for me. Yes. So this time it's not a man, it's a woman who paid for me. Yes. <laughs> no, are you serious? Very serious. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stay in Alba Iulia forever. <laughs> I'm leaving for free, guys. Come. Thank you. So it looks like in Romania, women pay for men's meals just as often as men pay for women. Why can't it be like that everywhere else? What is your type? Um, they gotta be fine, gotta be taller than me. Do I fit your type? Yeah. Wait, smile for me. Smile. Yeah, okay. She want me! What's your body count? One. What are the chances I can make that two? Um, I don't know. Find out. Let me get your contact then. Okay. <laughs> wow. Just, wow. He made it look so easy, this girl was practically begging for him at the end. You can reciprocate. I got delicious taste you need a woman touch in your place. Just protect them and keep us safe. Baby, worship my hips and waist. So feminine with grace, I touch your soul when you hear me say, Boy, let me be a woman. Just your daily reminder to treat your man as he deserves. This looks like a fun couple who can joke around. She's not only a great girlfriend, but also the perfect gym partner. This is the life we all want to live. I got you, king. What? After you. Woo! <laughs> Strong, right? <laughs> well, we know this girl knows how to treat her man right. This is an awesome video from a true queen. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Quick question. Uh, I am so sorry that it startled you. Oh, you're wearing headphones. Um, I was wondering if you could help me fill out this survey for me. It was like really quick. That was my, <laughs> my way of trying to get your number. What's your name? Sylvia. Eric, right, nice to meet you. Nice you smell really good. Is that like... What is that? What? You smell really good. Oh. I buy my mom a lot of perfume. That's all she likes, so I'm... I don't know. Chanel. Coco Chanel. I thought it was Dior Coco Chanel. Yeah. What was your name again? Sylvia. Sylvia, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Honduras. Honduras. Do you know how to dance the uh, punta? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Can you show me? I've always wanted to learn. Of course. Where are you from? Me? I'm from my mom is Mexican, my dad is Bolivian. Oh really? Yeah. I so it's uh where you is like Spanish or not? Spanish, yeah. Claro que sí. Entonces. Sí, pero mi inglés mucho mejor. Uh, I have like a weird no sabo accent. Because you have been living here. Uh, see, sí, vivo in Tampa. Vivo in uh, Soho. Hace cuánto? Hace six meses. Hi, ¿cómo te llamas? Eric. Oh. Eric. What was your name or can I call you mine? <laughs> I'm just joking. Here, let me um, you okay. save their save their content. Put a little emoji. Surprise me. I like your Alexander McQueen's. Gracias. I have the same one. Oh really? Yeah, we can be mad. Silvia. Surprise me. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> um, okay. Here. All right. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. All right. Awesome. Was mucho gusto. I love you. All right. Bye. Now, why can't all girls be like this? She made it so simple. No games. Just straight to the point. Love this girl for that. <laughs> She should be treating him like a king every day. This girl got it, meh, somewhat. But she needs to be treating him like that all the time. Mr. Slap. Yes. Psych. You're ugly. My mom's hotter. What? Ooh, someone call an ambulance with that burn. She really set him up for an easy kiss, and he denied her like that. Size matters. I mean, yeah, also to some extent. So, so this is what I do for work. Have you ever heard of black? I have not, actually. Really? Because, you know, the, to work here, there are some requirements, you know what I'm saying, to be on camera. Since size doesn't matter, what would you rate me on the scale of 1 to 10? I guess, like, 7.5. 7.5? Seven yeah, like okay. 8. And if I was, like, 7.5, eight, 8, would that make it go up? But 
No. Got him. We got him. You can tell by her voice that this guy successfully rizzed her up. There are not a lot of women like this out there. I don't know when we're finally going to realize that more and more men are single because they want to be single. Because they've built up their lives. They like their day-to-day -day routine. They buy what they want and can afford. They spend time on whatever hobby they enjoy. But what they don't want is making the mistake of sacrificing those things for something less than what they already have. And I get it. We've heard that women are raising their standards. But ladies, Men are too. See, this girl knows exactly what's up. I truly hope she finds a man because I'm sure she will make him so happy. How much money does a guy have to spend on you on the first date? Oh, oh my god, it could be zero. I would pay. You would pay? Yeah, hell yeah. You're gonna take the lead? Yes, absolutely. Anything's possible. Anything's possible! A girl like this is extremely rare. Good for her making a difference in this world. In a light skin girl in a dark skin crew. Girl, I see you. <sighs> Can I have my phone? You know what you gotta say, what you gotta call me. Can I get a hug on my hug? You could tell she low-key enjoyed it. Not gonna lie, not many women would let a man do this, especially if they weren't dating. Does weight matter on a guy? You know what? I've been so... Yeah, let me hold this, actually. I've been so adamant about this. I love fat men so, so, so much. Am I skinny? No, and that's good. You know what? Never let anybody tell you that size matters, weight matters... Dang, she really came in with a whole motivational speech. See, no matter the size, we all got a chance. Bro looks like a puppy. That must be some of the best treatment I've ever seen. Things us ladies do when we have a crush. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Ladies, let me know, and let's go. One, if we do not know what to reply back, I guarantee you that our friends have replied back for us at least once. Two, when our friends meet our crush for the very first time, it's not really the first time. Our friends already know everything about this person before actually meeting them. Why? Because we've told them everything. And three, every single time we've hung out with our crush, our besties know. They know where we're going, what we're doing, what time we have to see each other, what time we stop seeing each other. The moment we're done hanging out, we are calling our besties and we're like, hey, this is what happened from beginning to end with specific details. She exposing all the secrets. This girl is a keeper because she will be able to solve any puzzle faced with girls. <laughs> Aw, this is so cute. They wanted to say goodbye one last time before their workout. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? You can't be laughing. No, I'm not laughing. I'm sorry. Can I ask you guys some questions? Yeah. iPhone or Android? iPhone. iPhone or dogs? Dogs. Dogs or lemonade? Dogs. Dogs or Black History Month? Black History, Black History Month. Month. <laughs> BLM. Black History Month or Taco Bell? Black, Black History Month. Month. Black History Month or Oxygen? Black History <laughs> Month. <laughs> yes. Black History Month or Women's Right to Vote? Black History Month. <laughs> so I'm gonna stand up, take my people with me. Together we are okay, you guys are actually the best. These girls are absolutely hilarious and great. I love women who are not afraid to speak their words and don't put men down. If a man pays for lunch, I pay for dinner. If he pays for the movie tickets, I will buy snacks. If he buys me shoes, I'll get him a nice suit. If he's having a rough day, I'll help him out. Stop expecting him to treat you like a queen while you are not treating him like a king. Remember, a relationship goes both ways. Very well said by a very well-educated lady. This is how it should be, everyone. Okay, if you are a woman, if you are a lady, and you are listening to me, and you are in a relationship, and you want the relationship to sustain, you want it to last, listen to this advice. If your man pays for lunch pay for dinner 
if your man pays for the movie ticket buy the snacks if your man buys you shoes try and get him a nice suit if your man is having a rough day try and help him out stop expecting a man to treat you like a queen while you don't treat him like a king remember a relationship goes both ways nothing but the truth right here everyone it's the golden rule treat others how you want to be treated nice things come to those who are nice hey, you, your masculinity isn't toxic your masculinity is actually the thing about you and all of those women talking about the dangers of masculinity are the same women that are going to be 40 alone with a cat it's so do me a favor stop listening to them embrace your masculinity and remember it's 2023 if i wanted a beta i could just go date a chick well she just put a lot of women in their places but hey she's speaking straight facts here nothing wrong with that each person possesses a masculine and a feminine within themselves. No, I'm not saying that a man is inadequate if he has feminine traits because every person has feminine traits. Every person has masculine traits. But when we're in a relationship, we're looking for you to be that provider and protector and to love on us. And in turn, we're going to give you that respect that you require that you need as being our provider and our protector. Anytime you are doing your thing as providing and protecting and laying everything down in the household, you shouldn't have a woman who disobeyed you. You shouldn't have a woman who is combative towards you. You shouldn't have a woman who is doing anything less than putting you first and treating you like the king that you are. Wow, that was a lot. But at the end of the day, we know this girl will treat her man like a king. And that's all that matters. Make your man a priority. Hey, shorty. It's your birthday. We gonna party hey. like it's your birthday. We gonna sit I'm a little older like than this girl, birthday. but guess what? She it's likes older men. So, hey, all you older guys, don't give up. Because you can, you can do it. Well, you probably can't do it too because I'm really special. But this is what you get when you fucking treat a girl like a million cash. This is what yeah, you get he does, right here. He does. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah, actually. for real. Everyone's saying this girl is a gold digger, but she still treats him like a king and quite frankly, he's got plenty of cash and he's just happy to have a young girl hitched by his side. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. See you all later.